In today's wrap-up, in a survey, 70% of Armenian respondents have stated that they want unification between Armenia and Artsakh, with 16% saying they have reservations. The central bank has forecasted a 4% negative contraction in economic growth. Japan has announced that it will provide $3.7 million to Armenia for medical supplies. And 523 new cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed. For the ninth time, the Caucasus Research Resource Center has conducted a study called the Caucasus Barometer. The polls were conducted from February 21st to March 15th, 2020. Within the framework of the survey, CRRC Armenia specialists also studied the mood of Armenians on the settlement of the Karabakh conflict. The surveys produced some interesting information. 70% of respondents stated that they want unification between Armenia and Artsakh. 16% are in favor but with certain conditions and 9% are against. 13% of respondents consider it very likely that the issue will be resolved through negotiations in the next five years, 23% feel it's unlikely, and 21% do not see such a possibility. 52% of respondents are in favor of Artsakh becoming an independent state, 23% support the idea but under certain conditions, and 23% are against. Armenia's central bank has predicted that the country's economy will face a contraction of 4% in 2020. The head of the central bank, Martin Garstian, announced the forecast in a meeting with journalists. He stated that, quote, Armenia's economic growth for 2020 was revised from 0.7% growth in the first quarter to a 4% decline. At the same time, the main factor that will determine the prospects for recovery, of course, is the health situation in the world and in Armenia. According to Garstian, the central bank has reduced the interest rate to 4.5%, and he added that it will be necessary to continue pursuing a stimulating monetary policy in the medium term. The Armenian government forecasted a 2% decline for 2020 and the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development forecasted a 3.5% decline. Japan's government has pledged to provide $3.7 million worth of medical equipment to Armenia. The agreement was signed between the Armenian finance minister and the Japanese ambassador to Armenia, Jun Yamada. The assistance is aimed at helping the healthcare system in Armenia in the long term and will also include things like modern MRI scanners and other equipment that can help health authorities in Armenia grapple with the coronavirus pandemic. 523 new cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed by health authorities in Armenia, raising the total number of cases to 26,065. 515 more recoveries were also reported and 10 more deaths, raising the death toll to 453. In other news, tycoon and leader of the opposition prosperous Armenia party, Gagik Tsarukyan, has tested positive for COVID-19. Tsarukyan was mocked on social media for his words that kind people do not contract coronavirus. He is currently being treated at the Erebuni Medical Center in Yerevan. And finally, Sivonets Mark Dovich wrote about how the economy has become far more prioritized in the midst of the coronavirus pandemic. Though the economy was a significant priority beforehand, it has become more so as the global economy reels under the pressure of the pandemic. With falls in economic activity, low agricultural yields, dependence on Russia for exports and remittances, and a lack of infrastructure, the economy of the country has become a major concern for Armenian society. According to a pre-pandemic survey, 55% of respondents believed that the economy was the most important issue for the country. But since the pandemic, there has been major economic problems in Armenia. With a month-long lockdown and restrictions on travel and business, the probability is that the economy is now an even more pressing issue for citizens, thwarting other issues.